Hi, Kitty Cats. Today we're going to discuss a dichotomy all transgender women face. Society expects us to pass, but some even in our own community would prefer we did not. So what does it mean to pass as a transgender woman? Well, each of us is going to have a different interpretation on what it takes to pass, as well as how important it is to us. But a general definition of passing is being able to appear in public without anybody knowing we were not assigned female at birth. To be clear, this does not mean being able to fool all the people all the time. Gender transition entails aligning our external presentation with the person we know we are on the inside. And while society plays a role in the presentation, who we know we are is ours alone, making our identity clear is not fooling anybody. It's asserting your right to own your motivations and desires. Unfortunately, the transgender community sometimes throws an additional complication at transgender women. We'll consider the rest of society in a later video, but for now, let's discuss the discrimination transgender women can feel within our own community. It seems difficult to believe the transgender community would discriminate against its own members, but a typical encounter with the community runs like this. We figure out something is off about the way we feel. And after some research, we think we might be transgender. Now, interestingly, the first question we ask is, am I trans enough? The community is fond of answering no to that question. Being a member of the transgender community is exclusive. You must be ready to own the transgender experience. You can come back to the community when you've made your decision. If you can clear this first hurdle and accept being transgender, you gain admittance to the community and maybe you can begin the hard work of gender transition. There's social transition to do, such as changing your name and legal documents. You have to come out to friends and family and at work. And you find a new look with wardrobe and makeup, maybe a wig. And then you have medical transition, such as obtaining hormone replacement therapy. Maybe you investigate surgical techniques to change your appearance. And all along, the community is there, willing to watch as you unfold your fledgling wings, maybe even willing to help you turn into the woman you have always been. If you're fortunate, and if it's your goal, maybe you reach a point where you pass in public. Go you? Maybe not. Because if, in your journey to passing in public, you also pass another member of the community along the road, you commit a grave breach of transgender etiquette. In fact, let's call it a transgression. My experience and that of others is that when we start to become successful in our transition, the community wants to distance itself from us. Whether this is out of jealousy or out of a sense of not doing enough, many transgender women do not want to see others achieve success. But this sets up a never-ending revolving door in the community. If you can't decide whether you belong in the community, you don't. But when you begin to look and act like you belong in the greater community of women, you also don't belong. I challenge each of us in the transgender community to celebrate each other's successes. What I achieve does not diminish what you achieve. In fact, both our achievements, whatever they may be, serve to elevate our community further. So be glad Jasmine Vine has her beautiful voice. And be glad Lena Bloom has her amazing modeling career. And be glad I have this YouTube channel. Being transgender is not a competition. We all take part in the transgender experience and we all take part in the human experience. We need each other. And as I'll point out in my next video, we have far too much work to do in society to fight amongst ourselves. Now, show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for transgender education from a human perspective. Bye.